So this is my first tournament when I got back from Europe, and I don't remember all the details of what was going through my brain, but I know the main thing was that I wanted to keep up the mentality that I had gained back in Europe. Before I realized what I needed was an external force to motivate me, uh, what I actually thought was happening is I needed negative energy. So I needed to get a little bit mad, a little bit frustrated. So I was trying to channel that the whole time. And it's kind of clear with kind of how big my actions are, how aggressive I'm being during these fights. But I could do the same thing without focusing so much on negative energy and more about focusing on the opponent, which is what I do now. But I have to focus on the opponent and want to take them out without all that anger being necessary. Another thing I'm trying to do here is really maintain good footwork. I gained a little bit of footwork ability back in Europe because I had to due to the context of the fights that I was in. But back here, I sometimes I, I slack off because I know I can time things with my hands or be really crafty. That hand ability, though, won't serve me if my feet do not follow or serve the hand. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, not successfully. Uh, Luyan is way better at footwork than me. But the whole idea during this tournament was both keep up that mental and keep up that footwork as much as I can. Even now, looking at this footage, I'm not happy with my fencing. But I also have to remember that a few months prior, I had just quit my job and started moving like this again. Like, it's not normal that I could make that type of jump from not being able to move to moving like this. And it's really hard for me to remind myself that. But watching this with that lens in mind, I'm really happy. It's not perfect. Like, I'm moving a lot there. It's kind of messy. But it's better that I'm moving than not compared to back in October when I had to quit my job because I felt like I couldn't be a good fencer with the office job that I had. In addition to that, it has to be said that I'm also fencing two rounds of pools here. Um, in the first round of pools, I won three and lost two, and I ended up 10th out of 31 people. And then the second round of pools, I won three and I lost three, again being 10th, but this time out of 22 people because we separated the groups. So that keeping that in mind, being able to move like this during two rounds of pools and still being okay by the end, not gassed out, I really, really have to take that into account of just a few months prior. I gassed out basically waiting for someone to attack me and I still like died cardio wise. And because of that, I want to make it very clear. If you're a fencer watching this video, a few months can make a world of a difference. I lost around 25 to 30 pounds in the span of four to five months. And if you think you can't improve your fencing like at a tangible amount and you don't have to do major things like weight loss or weight gain or type of stuff it's just focus on your fencing and work on your techniques then I want this to be proof that you can do both if you really want to so don't be shy to put the effort in because good and structured work will actually give you benefits you just have to do it there is no goal too far when it comes to improvement all right so just keep that in mind if you're watching this now, that being said, my friends like to say that I beat myself up a little bit too much in my videos and I'm going to do it again. Though I am moving more and though I am more comfortable in my body and though I am fencing at a speed that I should be fencing at, my technique is still sloppy as hell. Like I said in the video for Budapest, I found my actions a little raw and I think this video doubles down on that as well. The ideas are really cool, but like the structure of them are just really, really slacking. Um... Again, I'm laughing because it's still good fencing for me, but I know I can do better. So on, on the goal after this tournament was kind of to do better on that. And uh, I'm going to just say it straight up. I haven't had much time to work on my, my technique because I ended up coaching way more than I thought I would. The summer that came after these next few tournaments that you're going to see in the videos, I ended up going full on coach mode during the summer and I kind of forgot about me. But in doing coach mode, I got to revisit how the basics should be done. And when it comes time for me to work on my basics again, I think I'm going to have a much better vision and understanding of what I have to do because of that time coaching. But to be honest, I am not happy with how my techniques look in the next few videos. So I'm not going to just sugarcoat and say, oh my God, the weight loss is great. I'm such a great fencer now. No, no, I, I have so much work to do. It's very clear and I'm aware of it, but I'm so happy that I got over the initial hurdle of not being able to move. Also, I'm talking about this like a year later, so I know where my fencing is at now and I'm trying not to jump the gun, but this trend keeps on going, but watching these videos is giving me a little bit of hope and it's kind of cool to watch. Now onto the elimination matches. Um, this is someone I've fought quite a bit. 
And at first, he really, he takes over the match. Like, I'm trying to keep that feral mentality and trying to keep the pressure on him. And he ends up picking me off quite a bit, meaning I have to do something or change something about how I'm approaching the situation. Watching this video back, I can see how wild all my attacks are and all my actions are. And though later on I'm timing them better and I'm, I'm, I will catch him off guard with these, they're really dirty. Like, this wouldn't have passed back in Budapest, so I shouldn't be happy that they passed here. Um, right now we know each other so well, so there's some awkwardness when we're fighting because we're anticipating certain things to happen. And because I'm being a little wild and a little less predictable, I guess they passed through. But I can't count on that against people who are at the world stage. Even now, uh, Nata, the guy I'm fighting right now, right now, um, he beats me because he's super clean now. He's super clean, direct, and he's not afraid of my wide actions. He doesn't care anymore. And that's exactly what I'm talking about here. Like, I'm winning. I'm going to end up win winning, but it's not for the right reasons. In any case, the mentality that I had in this match was good. I was ready to hit. I was focused. And I was trying to let nothing slide through. Even though it was wide actions, I was on the ball, mentally and aware. Like, this next little sequence is disgusting. That one was nice. But this the whole thing, like, why would I parry so wide? What, ah, it's disgusting. But in the end, I kept up the pressure and I was able to get the point. Now, here is where I lose and I get out of the tournament. I end up being 8th in the tournament out of 31 people. But what happened here is that... My opponent here forced the match to go quickly, and I lost the plot in the middle of all that quickness. We just kept going at each other. It was very little strategy going on, like long term. It was very little tactics. Was like, are they going to react? Yes or no? And he won in the end. He didn't let me cook. He didn't let me make anything. He really just put the pressure. And as soon as I did something wide, which you saw in the last match, I was prone to do things that were wide. He just took it out. Like that parry was disgusting on my behalf. Like here, here, oh, big, oh yeah, overextended, taken out. I stood up during that parry because of the pressure. I leaned back instead of using my footwork. And now he has a three-point lead. I'm getting dramatic here, timing event, but it doesn't matter, double. Again, all of those were disgusting. Ooh. It was a really good move on his part to just push me and make me do these wide actions and feel uncomfortable so I couldn't just organize myself. That was nice. But he did a good strategy against me, which was not to let me organize and just be direct. Like, look at that. That was really well played right there. Ah, and disgusting at the end. But really well done on his behalf. Eighth in the tournament, I'm all right. I think I can deal with that. 